All right, we're here with Kenny from Phoenix Products at their new location. Uh, super exciting. They've been around, I think, since 2021. And yeah, 2021 is where we started. So yeah, can I just give us a quick intro? Yeah, so uh, Phoenix Products started in 2021. We actually started as a company that uh, made uh, pins, actually writing pins, was our, our first foyer into manufacturing. Uh, my partner and I, Marcus, we decided that we were going to do a Kickstarter uh, for a aluminum machine pin, and we ended up being stainless steel at the end because we felt like it had a little bit more of a, a better feel to it. And from there, we branched out and we said, you know what? Our pin business went so well that we decided, you know what, let's let's look at uh, going into some other things that were machined. So Marcus has a lot of background in the F-22, F-35, worked at Skull Works, um, actually uh, is a product of ASU, which is actually here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, or Tempe. So it was really a natural progression for us, going from a small manufactured product to actually a machine shop that worked on parts for larger companies like, you know, Boeing, uh, some aerospace companies, uh, and things like that. Cool. Uh, yeah, I know in the last couple of years, so you guys got your AS9100 certs and kind of cleaned up, you know, all that to get those cool contracts in here. Yeah, uh, going through the AS and, and, and ISO process was, was definitely daunting for us as a small company. We have about six employees, uh, some full-time, some uh, contractor, and uh, going through and cleaning, cleaning up what we were doing from a process standpoint, and really focusing on quality and how that was going to affect our business and ultimately provide better uh, service for our customers was really a, a, a smart move early on. Cool. Yeah, and then I guess just a little bit of your background, you came actually from the, the ERP consulting world, right? So Yeah, so I actually started out in technology. And when I say technology, I worked uh, for a couple companies, um, one of them uh, being uh, selling IBM laptops, desktop servers, uh, then moving on into uh, what was uh, software at the time, and then eventually services and working directly for a company called SAP. So uh, I, I, I sold SAP, I implemented SAP, and uh, eventually became, uh, uh, went out on my own as a consultant and did implementations for ERP companies, right? So anything back office, financials, manufacturing, inventory, all of those things all rolled into one and uh, implemented for several companies and several manufacturing companies as well. So got into being a, a C-level executive as a CIO and then Marcus and I got talking and said, hey, let's start our own company and having my background in manufacturing and his background in manufacturing actually in operational and act actual uh, uh, design, it just really was a match made in heaven. Cool, perfect. I guess let's get into the shop tour. And yeah, uh, we'll go from there. Come on back. Cool, back here in the shop. I guess let's give us a quick overview. What do we got? Yeah, so when we moved into this new facility uh, from our old facility, we actually started out with only one machine. Now we're up to four. So we've got uh, our two mills over here. One of these is a four axis uh, uh, mill, uh, gin mill, uh, 20, 20, 2012, and then also a five axis gen mill as well. Uh, both of them are really designed for us uh, here at Fees Products to do our aerospace and defense parts. Uh, so we run we run pretty much about a 16 hour day on each of these machines when, we're ta when we actually have projects going on. And uh, they've really been workhorses for us. We love what they can do, and very rarely have we had any issues with them going down. So. Where they're uh, they're they're kind of the heart of our our company for sure. Yeah. And you guys moved these from the old look industry, so you've yeah, been for a while, right? yeah. So we started out with this one right here. This is our first machine, and we've had this one since June of last year. We got this one six months later uh, when we signed on uh, another couple com companies that required us to do uh, some more intensive milling with the five axis. Uh, then from there, those two, we move over here to this machine. So we got here. Yeah, so our set, our third machine that we that we brought in is our horizontal. Uh, it's a Haas. Uh, this one is used mainly for our rifle parts that we have uh, that we have going. We're actually developing our own rifle that will be sold to the general population and the public. Also, some military contracts as well uh, that we've got going on. So uh, this will be out, be able to put out probably close to about. 10 to 15 rifles a day as far as upper and lower receivers go. And we'll, we'll try to run this almost 24 seven. We've got two pallets that we're able to use and we'll have someone start it usually around 9, 8, 9 p.m. at night 
as they're walking out the door and it'll run all the way till 6 a.m. till the next shift comes in in the following morning. All right, so I guess Marcus has it nicely palletized there. I mean, you got the two sounds in the RSL. Yeah, yeah. I get pretty dense. Yeah, so we uh, we did all of the manufacturing on the tombstones themselves. Uh, and then we use these vice grips for each of the different uh, upper and lower receivers for, for milling and, and, and machining. All right, cool. All right, let's go over here. Coming around here is our last machine. It's actually one of our oldest machines. It's our lathe uh, that we do uh, a lot of work on when it comes to also uh, aerospace. And this is also used for a lot of our uh, rifle parts that we're gonna be having on our AR-15 platform. It's an older Mazak, and, uh, but it works really well as a workhorse. And so we gotta, you know, we do a lot of massaging here and there to make sure it's running, a lot of oil and things like that. But ultimately it gets the job done and exactly what we need for right now. Yeah, I think we've seen him in a couple of stops and people's main complaint, honestly, is that they won't die. So they won't I guess that's, that's about as good of a complaint as you do. Yeah, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a good problem to have and uh, it spits out parts as, 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 as much as we feed it. Perfect, cool. I just go right here, this is your engineering area, right? Yeah, so this is our engineering area. We've got uh, two gentlemen here. We've got our junior engineer, uh, Max. Uh, he's currently working right now on our uh, Fire 15 uh, rifle and doing some of the finalized design work on that. We've got the, the preliminary layout on what we want from a prototype perspective. Now we're going into more details. So he handles everything that has to do with firearms, uh, while my partner Marcus handles everything having to do with the aerospace uh, and defense side of the business. Cool. Then we also have uh, Trey over here. He's uh, really one of our design workhorses as well. He does some Fusion 360, but he's in a lot of uh, like InDesign, Adobe, especially now that we have our uh, consumer product line with the, with the firearms, right? That uh, really need different types of logos, colors, anything artistic. Trey's really the guy that we go to. Uh, we have a couple of customers that uh, are uh, uh, needing some design for dyes. We have a minting company that we work with and Trey does a lot of the design work for them too uh, in terms of what they want like on their silver bars or something like that. Yeah, I guess, obviously, you have the aerospace side, you have the rifle side. I know you guys got a big launch coming up. I don't know, do you want to plug? Yeah. Kind of what you're developing, show the rifle off? Yeah, so um, the rifle is uh, Firebird Arms is the, is the name of the company. Uh, Fire 15 is the name of the rifle. And this is something that we really just started getting into. It's actually a, a, a love of mine. I've been in, uh, like, just shooting in general for several decades, a couple decades, not several, but that old couple decades. We went to SHOT Show earlier this year, really learned a lot, and are starting to develop our own rifle, and uh, looking forward to that. So everything that you see here from the handguard to the upper and lower receiver, we will actually mill ourselves. Uh, these, uh, the muzzle devices here, uh, hybrid kind of compensator, uh, fire hider, uh, we'll also mill that on the lathe uh, itself. And we should be launching this around October, uh, on firebirdarms.com, and it's spelled P-H-Y-R-E bird, firebirdarms.com, and uh, you'll be able to pick up a rifle, and uh, we'll ship it to your FFL, and they'll do the background check and all those good things for it. So we're excited about that. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure if that takes off, you'll, you'll have a whole, a whole other expansion to come. Right? Yeah, I think that that's gonna be the case. This will probably can, uh, stay our main facility when it comes to aerospace and defense. Uh, and then hopefully we'll have probably another facility for actual firearms uh, assembly and storage. Cool. All right, well, thanks for the tour. Uh, anything else you want to go through kind of while we, we have here? Oh, one more thing. Um, so we got our start as a pin manufacturer. Yeah. Uh, we actually will have another Kickstarter coming very soon that Trey uh, will be running for a ED, uh, everyday carry pin. It will have uh, a bolt action uh, as well. That's going to be on Kickstarter under the Phoenix products line. And uh, yeah, we're excited about that to kind of get back to our roots and uh, offer uh, some of our, we probably got about close to 230 Kickstarter uh, backers that we did on our first Kickstarter. So we're excited to be able to launch another pen for those folks. Yeah, get them a nice new two in there. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So, all right, well, Kenny, thanks awesome. for turning us around. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. All right. <laughs>